9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, calling your brothers and your cousins for every little argument because you women sit on social media you sit around oh everybody yes. killing everybody but you never tell the truth that it's been a thousand shootings and homicides trickle back down to you running your fucking mouth or you calling somebody and exaggerating because you feel disrespected stop calling people you can argue with somebody on the block that said leave it there you call your brother now these niggas going through it the whole summer and then somebody child die about it that that's your fault that's your fault. You can't sit back and say it's not your fault because they went too far. You shouldn't have called them. Stop call. Hey, you guys. Blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you. I hope y'all find yourself in great spirits today because I know I find myself in great spirits. Come on, chime on in. Like I always say, the box down below is always welcome for you guys comments so if y'all have your own opinions or thoughts even if it's different from mine it's always welcome in the comments down below so let me get into this commentary video that you guys came here for so as it was said to me but i couldn't get to it just because by the time i got to it i think it was deleted i don't know but it was brought to my attention that allegedly mr damien crier cousin had comments under on the Avoca videos and her name is Tina. Tina Haystone, I think that's what called Haystone. I don't know what the video was about because like I say it was just screenshot. The way it was screenshot, I could not understand what video would come from. But if y'all know, y'all can always let me know which video did this person comment on that you guys know because I don't know. So I'm just gonna get my opinions on this matter and it's my opinions and to clarify i'm a grown ass woman ain't in no one sector only in my sector that mean me myself and i i give two shits what other people got going on and what other people think of the commentary or whatever videos they decide to comment it's a free world we could comment and we could state our opinions and thoughts on anything we watch like i said my opinion my thoughts on anything I watch, on anything that may be brought to my attention, but best to believe I know when to leave certain things out because I know my limits to certain situations. So let me get back to it. So Tina Hey Haystone, she put under her comment, under Erica comment, she put no, I disagree. A man that knows his woman did wrong doesn't need to throw himself out there when a grown ass woman, you need to apologize to the people you know you have wrong. That's why a lot of people get killed out here defending people that start stuff and now, I mean now, the person lost his life over foolishness. <laughs> I don't mean laugh or giggle, but I don't know who may have lost their life, but I think she's trying to say that a lot of people tend to, a lot of men or a lot of women tend to lose their life over defending a person the defender was sticking up for a person that may be a shit starter that may start stuff like you know throw the rock and then hide the hands so they tend to start stuff and then when they tend to start stuff the other person decides to stick up for them or defend them knowing that their partner or the significant person that they was defending was in the wrong and that's how people tend to lose their life because when they decide to go defend that person without knowing the whole concept without knowing what took place without knowing how did it start it when they go out defend you never know what your other opponent mindset is, you know mindset is in and then if you go confront that person you know people tend stuff gets heated stuff gets said and you know nowadays people are not fighting no more with their hands you know guns get involved or knives get involved and then it leads to a whole altercation that someone could potentially lose their life over defending a person that tends to start shit you understand when you defend a, when you decide to defend a person that starts shit without knowing what really goes on what really taking place you're putting yourself out there you know in a situation that has nothing to do with you that's why it's best when certain things that has nothing to do with you is the best thing to mind your business and just i guess see how it's if it's your wife or your boyfriend whatever or your family member it's good to these allergies are working me up today. I tell y'all, I got the most baddest allergies ever. 
So like I was saying, it's best for you to pinpoint how everything started, what is taking place. It's better to be the peacemaker. Um, tell them you don't say shit to, like a baby. You don't say shit to her. She don't say shit to you. Dead it, dead that shit already. Sometimes the best thing you could do is just remain silent and let let the shit start and have it, or let the person that started have the whole ordeal. At the end of the day, the way this world is, I agree. People are losing their life over sensitive acts of others or situation that has nothing to do with them because they decided to defend that person because of I don't know why. But Erica tends to put, she replies back to the lady and she said, who are you talking about? She asked the question, so she said, who are you talking about? And I find it highly inappropriate for you to be leaving a comment like this on my channel in regards to Damien. So, Erica knew this person. So it makes it clear Erica knows this person that is comment under her video because the person didn't state Damien name. The person didn't say who she was talking about. So highly, I say, Miss Erica know that this person is related to Damien. So Erica continues to say, I get that you are his family. There you go. But nothing in the video should offend you or him. Because low-key, you're saying that I started something with him when I'm sure you didn't get the full story. So I've, Erica's probably saying, look, you getting half of the story what he's telling you, but you're not getting my side as well. But then again, Erica got to put to mind, this is social media. So maybe, yeah, that's his family member. Maybe do she do tell him what's going on or whatever's taking place. Because I don't even know what the fuck's taking place. Why was this say whatever. Or it could be by the whole situation that's, that transpired, you know, through over the years on the internet with Erica and Damien and the other party. Or it could be that. I don't know. I'm just making assumptions. So it could be to the situation where she's saying, you got his you got his story, but you ain't getting mine. You ain't allowing me to speak my story, but you're coming under my video and you're stating what you're stating without knowing the full-blown story. But I feel like Erica got to understand that that's Damien's family. Maybe time and time again, Damien is has no one to talk to so he's gonna go to his family member that he knows for many years his family member that he's close to a family member that he has a bond with so he probably open up and maybe miss tina is just fed up and maybe miss tina miss tina just didn't intentionally meant to say anything mean or come out the wrong way but she's making a statement like it's wrong for you to put this man in a predicament where he had to defend you, where he had to sacrifice a lot of things for you, or you may sacrifice a lot of things for him. Because, I, like I said, I don't know what goes on behind the screen. I'm only going to talk about what's being brought up on YouTube, you understand? But they bring. So, Tina could say, like, you know, he sacrificed a lot of shit for you, but then again, all the shit that he sacrificed, you still not appreciative. And he put his. his Let's go say his whole career, his whole life in jeopardy just to defend you when knowing you the one that started the whole ordeal. You the one that mastermind all this plan, the situation to get him in tune with it. And during the long run, during the long run, he could have lost his life because of an action that you decided to take in instead of taking that higher note and just leave everything alone. You understand? Maybe that's what Tina's trying to say. I'm saying maybe that's what Tina's trying to say. But I say like this. I know I seen the video. She came out with the baby bump. Congratulations. Congratulations to her on her pregnancy. That's not my business. You know, do I care? No, I don't care. I have to understand, like many others, when you put people, when you bring somebody drama or when you tell somebody this is going on and this was a place and maybe they find out how the real ordeal the whole the how the whole ordeal started now this person is looking like damn i really defend this person i went all out my neck for this person when in reality shit was not the way she made it seem you know 
shit really mean like she has some parts in it as well too and people tend and it's a real life shit people tend to stick up for people people tend to you know go the higher the higher role for a person and ride out for a person when in reality a lot of people out here losing their life because the person that claims to claim to say they're not the shit started is the shit started and in the long run the other person that defends the other person tends to lose their life for something that could have been avoided something that could have been ignored so i understand where miss tina coming from where she say you know people tend to lose their life over foolish foolishness act i understand that do i understand do i clearly understand what's taking place here no i don't understand i don't understand she could be talking about the situation that transpired like i said over the years with you know damien erica mucca and creo i don't know could it be from a situation that took place outside of youtube i don't know can i talk about that no i can't because i didn't see it i didn't hear it i didn't you know it was brought to the attention to social media, so there's no need for me to even talk on it. Would I sit on here and talk about another person, pregnancy, whatever? No, I'm not. That's not going to come to my channel. So it's about the situation that I watch, like I said. The whole shit ordeal with Mr. Damien, like I said, something more transpired, something more took place that we do not know. That he only know and she only know. And at the at we looking at it, Miss Tina, if this is Damien Roe cousin writing, Miss Tina and his family that knows what's taking place. I feel like Damien, the way Erica family has rights to defend Erica and speak out for Erica, if you know, if whatever, the same way Damien family has the right to stick out and defend Damien as well too. So I don't know. This is a bunch of um, this is a, bu a bunch of fucking bullshit that's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm just getting my thoughts and my opinion the whole deal. I feel like if she's so content and she don't like drama and don't want to do a drama, I say stop speaking on drama. Take your ass away from the drama. Continue to do what you want to do. But if you continue to engage into drama. Then 9 out of 10, what's going to happen? Drama's going to come back to you and you're going to still continue to be affiliated with drama. And that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? I know there's people who be like, I know there's people that are like, oh, don't talk about Erica, but listen, 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 listen. This is a fucking opinions and thoughts commentary. Commentary, we could talk about anything we want. Give us only our opinions and thoughts. Okay? It's nothing wrong giving your opinions and thoughts. No one opinions and thoughts are better than the next. No one opinions and thoughts are, oh my God, yeah, that's the, that's how it really happened. Yeah, that's the real opinions and thoughts. No, it's opinion and thought for a motherfucking reason. So I don't understand why people get so panties in a bunch, especially the subscribers, when people decide to give their thoughts and opinion differently from other people that make you know give their own thoughts and opinion agreeing with Erica. So the people that don't agree with Erica to give their opinion and thoughts, they wanna say they hate her. Not everybody's a hater. Not everybody wish her ill will. I don't wish nobody ill will and never been a hater, never gonna be a hater. You understand? But I ain't gonna subside with so many bullshit what she do and I'm not gonna subside with bullshit that the other um muck or whatever that other lady do. That's not my business. But I will get commentary the way I get commentary on every other shit that I cover. And that's respectfully, you want to get respectfully or disrespectfully, whatever, whichever way you want to take it. But to then, I feel like Cryer family had every right to stick up for Cryer if they felt like they had to voice their opinion for Mr. Cryer himself. If this is Miss Tina. So at the end of the day, that is my thoughts, that is my opinion. We could agree to disagree, but I'm always going to be respectful to everybody else's opinions and thoughts. It's the meantime, between time, it's your girl Queen Rose, and I'm out to the next video. Straight to the Mata, then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his sata, then I'm in his matata, up in the zaza. I go straight to the Mata, then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Then I'm in his sata.